Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Jenny. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this fun little easel card using a quick and simple masking technique and the In the Moment stamp set. This easel card is quick and easy to create and folds flat for mailing. So let me set this aside and I'll show you how I got started. Okay, I'm going to start with the scoring for this project and I'm going to score it in five and a half. And then I'm going to move over to the eight and a quarter inch mark and score again. And at this point I can set my scoreboard to the side. I'm going to bring my panel in and I am going to stab a sentiment up in the upper right hand corner. You can bring in your strip of designer series paper if you want and set it there to hold your spot. I'm going to ink this up with my Blackberry Bliss. Once I have that inked up, I can stamp here in the upper right hand corner. There we go. And then I can set this to the side and bring in my focal point here. And I am going to ink that up with my Memento Black. I'm going to bring in my image. And I'm going to stamp that right in the center. There we go. I've got my stamping done and I'm ready to add color. To add the color, I'm going to be using my mask and my Blushing Bride ink pad here. So I am going to pick up the color with the blending brush and I'm going to start in the middle so that I don't end up with too dark of a color along the mask and I'm simply going to swirl my blending brush to add color around that outer edge. Once I have the top portion done I'm going to pick up some more ink and then I'm going to do the blanket portion. Now for this I want to add a little bit darker color onto the blanket and so I'm going to tap and use a little more pressure and ink whoops, on that lower edge. And I can also bring it up and around just to smooth that out. This is really dependent on how you like it to look and you can add or reduce the color as you desire. Once I have that done, I can lift the mask and I've got this beautiful monochromatic image. I've done my masking and I'm ready to start assembling my project. So I'm going to bring my pieces in here and I'm going to fold on that half inch, halfway mark, the five and a half inch score line. And then I'm going to take this first panel and fold it back on top of the other. Now that I have that done, I've got my easel built and I can bring in my front panel. Now this is going to attach to the front of that and so I want to build it first. I'm going to take my designer series paper and I'm going to adhere this down onto the front left hand side and I'm just going to leave a little bit of that basic white showing. You can use your grid paper to make sure this is nice and straight for you. And of course if you have a little bit hanging off you can always use your paper snips if that bothers you in trim, but that looks pretty good. Um, I am next going to bring in my Blushing Bride panel, and I'm going to adhere this down. And I'm going to do this, let's see, at a little bit of an angle. I'm gonna tilt it to the left. And then I'm gonna add adhesive to the back of the Blackberry. And I'm going to tilt that to the right putting that on top there, like so. And now I'm going to add dimensionals to the back of my image. I'm going to add one in each of the corners, and because this is a 3D, I can add a little extra. Sorry about that, I ran out of my regular dimensionals. So I'm simply gonna snip the edges so we don't have to stop. And I'm even gonna add a couple in the center since this is a 3D project. So I'm gonna remove those layers. But before I add that to the card front, I think I'm going to adhere my easel together. So once again, you've created this fold where the flap has gone back on it, and I'm only going to add adhesive to the top panel here. Now I find working with tear and tape for this a little easier because it's a nice strong adhesive and it's a dry adhesive so you don't have to worry about where it's going. I'm going to tear that off. 
and I'm gonna put a strip down the center so I've got a really good strong adhering. There we go, I'm going to burnish and then I'm going to remove the backing here. There we go. And I'm going to bring in my card front lining up the top with the top corner of my base and going across. And then all I have to do is burnish it. Um, you can open this up if you'd like to and burnish from the back um, just to make sure it's nice and secure. So as you can see, I've got that easel forming. And so now I'm ready to add my focal point. And I'm going to add this right down in the center of those kitty corner panels, but I'm going to lay it down straight. And then I'm going to open up my base and I want to add my calendar here to the bottom. So I'm going to first add my blush and bride panel. And I've simply made this a quarter inch bigger than my calendar. I'm just looking for a little mat to be decorative. And I'm going to add that right here. And as you can see, I'm under the halfway point, so this should be perfectly fine. And then on the back of my calendar, I'm going to add some dimensionals again. And let me see, I'm going to add a couple of strips to the back. I wanna bump this up, I've gone a little long on that side. Four dimensionals will work, but once again, I didn't have extra, so I'm just going to pop this in the center and use these. Remove the backing, make sure it's facing the right way, and then I'm going to place it right down here in the center of that mat. Now at this point, I can place my easel behind that mat, and as you can see, I've got this beautiful feature. But I'd like to add a little bit of shimmer and shine to this, so I'm going to pull in some rhinestones. I'm going to be using my iridescent rhinestones for this. They come in multiple sizes, and they've got this beautiful iridescent look that I think I'll pick up this color just fine. And so I'm going to take a medium rhinestone here and pop it right to the left of my sentiment. And a smaller rhinestone I'm going to pop right next to the word yourself. And then I think I'm going to bring in another rhinestone. And let's see, I think I'm going to put another one down here in the corner just to kind of add a little bit of shimmer. So there you go, a quick and easy easel card using the In The Moment stamp set. This easel card is easy to mail in an oversized envelope to somebody special or as a little gift that you can give them this holiday season. I hope you've enjoyed this project. And if you need any of these products, feel free to stop on my online store. You can get there from my blog, Stamp With Ginny. And of course, if you'd like our new mini catalog and don't already have a demonstrator, you can email me your name, address, and phone number, and I'll be happy to mail you one. Thanks for joining me.